Hello, thank you so much for joining me today to make some art. I thought I'd make a video with some tips on how to improve charcoal drawing. I think it's a really fun medium and after making a few charcoal drawings I think I've learnt some tips that hopefully might be able to help you out as well. Now of course there are no set rules when it comes to anything in art really. You can break the rules, you can try anything and you might discover something groundbreaking, I don't know. But these are just some things that helped me out and worked for me and maybe there will be some useful tips in here for you as well. So one of the main things you have to do obviously is be prepared with the equipment and the materials that you need. There's so much variety in what you can do with charcoal but I mainly use charcoal pencils, a sharpener and a rubber. Using charcoal pencils just makes it easier to really get in with the detail. However, if you want to cover large areas with charcoal, and especially if you want it to be really strong and dark, I would recommend using charcoal sticks. But yeah, if you really want to do fine detail, probably charcoal pencils would work best. So I always sketch out the drawing first, especially when you're doing something so detailed and finicky, I find it really helpful to just have a very clear idea of where everything is before starting because charcoal is so messy and I don't want to have to go back and try to change things around later. But one of the main things is to make sure that your hands are clean because the natural oils and just natural dirt on your hands can transfer to the paper and repel the charcoal. Yeah, it just, something weird happens and you can get weird smudges all over your drawing that you can't rub out. It's a real pain, so just... Wash your hands, you definitely... Another useful tip I realised after making a few pieces was to always work, if you're right-handed like me, from top left to bottom right. If you're left-handed, you would do the opposite and you would work from the top right to the bottom left. This way you're not smudging everything with your hand as you keep working. One of the tools I always use is a sharpener, especially when you're doing a detailed drawing. I'm always sharpening my charcoal pencils because I want to get a really sharp point. But I think the best way is to use a knife or a Stanley knife to actually sharpen your pencil, but I'm lazy so I don't do that. I just use a sharpener, that works well for me. You just have to be careful with the sharpener because charcoal pencils are quite delicate, so they can break really easily. It's the same if you drop it, you really have to avoid that because the charcoal inside just breaks into tiny pieces and it's a pain. Something else that I've come across that works well for me is building up dark areas over time. Instead of pressing really hard to try to get a dark spot, you can just make a lot of layers. As I said, there are no rules, but that just worked well for me in the end. Something else that I think has a really cool effect is when you're trying to make highlights. So of course charcoal is really good to get high contrast. You can really go really super dark with this medium. So I would say really take advantage of that. And don't do like me when I was younger. I would always go way too light and then, you know, it looks really washed out. So really take advantage of how dark you can go. And then you can also contrast that with highlights and charcoal using a rubber. I think that works really well. So you can basically take away parts of the charcoal to make little highlights and it really makes it pop. I guess you can also use white charcoal, but I guess it can kind of smudge with it and become more like a gray. I don't know why, but I think that works better on brown paper. Yeah, for me, I usually either leave areas completely white so you can see the white of the paper, or I can rub out parts of the charcoal. And you can't really see it in this drawing, but if you want to blend areas of charcoal, you can get these really useful blending sticks. Or if you're lazy like me, you can just use your fingers, clean fingers, no oils on there, clean fingers, to rub the charcoal and it'll smudge a little bit. But I mean, overall, charcoal is just really fun to use, so like, have fun with it. Experimentation, that's what art is all about. But I would definitely say at the end, make sure that you spray it with some sort of fixative. You can get them at any art shop, or you can even use hairspray. That way you don't smudge it and it'll be nice and crisp. But these are all the tips for this video. I really hope you found something useful. Um, again, no rules, but I hope that you found something in here that you will try and maybe it'll work for you. I hope you like the drawing as well. Let me know what you think in the comments and there will be prints of this available very soon on my Etsy shop. There are other prints available too, so if you're interested you can go and check those out. That would support me a lot. But yeah, whatever you want to do and I hope you liked the video and I hope it was helpful to you in some way. I will see you next time. See you soon.